Hi, in this video I'm going to talk about editing time and rhythm in Scorecloud Songwriter. So if you record with a decent mic setup, results are usually good, but you will always need some editing. Issues with time and rhythm can be hard to understand initially, but they can usually be fixed with a little editing. Let's look at one example I just recorded. To the program, it is unclear if this starts on the first beat, like this. Or if this was meant to be a pickup, like this. Using the pickup tool, you can shift the music relative to the bar lines. Here is a different example. Here it is unclear if this was intended to be in 4-4 four -four time, like this. Or if this was in 3-4 time, like this. Listening to the song with a drum beat is a good way to detect these issues. Playing an accompaniment with a clear rhythm also helps the program understand what you mean. You can also record with a click track if you have lots of syncopation or complex rhythms. I have imported an audio file here. You can download this same file and import it yourself if you want to follow along. Just go to help videos in the help menu to get the file. The first thing to do when you get a result is to make sure the big picture is correct. Let's listen to this. You think it only happens to strangers And suddenly it happens to your friend I'm gonna enable the drums to see that the measures are correct. Here we see a warning. This song is set to musical timing. It will follow the fluid timing of the original recording, which is not optimal for drums. Let's switch to straight linear timing. You think it only happens to strangers And suddenly it happens to your friend It's like you know that the world is full of dangers But you never really fully comprehend And you can tell yourself you've seen But it's only on the screen It's not real Not like something that you feel the time signature and the pickup seems correct. There is just a small thing with the ending. Let's enable the accompaniment notation to see. She slows down a lot in the end. I think I want this note to be the first beat of the next measure. So I'll just grab this bar line and drag it to here. This recalculates all the following bars. Now I can just delete this extra measure. Now the song is basically synced to the bars. So let's get into the rhythm of the individual notes. You think you There's a slide up on this first note. I'd note the, the, this as a single note. So I select the second note and press delete. And then press delete again to remove the rest. I can remove this rest as well. And this is only one note, so I'll delete this and this. Here I can hold ALT to drag the note to make it longer. This I want to be 2 eighths, I think. So I'll select the beat and in the rhythm drop down, I can change the rhythm. And the same here. This should be two notes, so I select the note and split the note in two. And the same here. And I split this as well. This was a slide, so I'll delete the middle note and change the rhythm. And 
Then I'll delete the rest. This note is too early, so I'll grab it and drag it to the right. You can also select the whole measure and choose two division. This snaps all the notes to two notes per beat. This note is too early, so I'll drag that to the right as well. That's more or less it for the rhythm in this song. I just want to show you one more cool thing. In this other song, this is also in the example files. You can click time and then double all the note values. This will still sound the same. You can also click triple time and write this in 3-4 time instead. So these tools are pretty powerful. And to recap what we did here, first we can use the pickup and the time signature tools and drag bar lines to fix the overall rhythm of the song. Then we can go in and delete notes, delete rests, split and add missing notes. We drag to move notes and alt drag to make them longer or shorter. You can see that here if you forget. Most results can be fixed with a bit of editing, but you can also re-record with a different accompaniment, a different mic setup, or perhaps use a click track. In the next video, we'll fix these pitches. Thank you for watching.